is this is another Q Domo moment. Today, well, not so much today, but tonight, I would like to jump on a bubbly subject of the rumors that are circulating about me. Well, we're going to first get on the first rumor. The first rumor that I am possibly or could possibly be the Antichrist is untrue. But in the future, I could become the Antichrist. Also, uh, the possibility of me becoming a murderer later in life, um, I don't see it possibly happening. But you never know these days, you know, people take the wrong paths and, you know, things happen in unusual ways in life. Hmm, yes. Um, also, any possibility that I might be related to Barack Obama, uh, that is a no. I hate to break it to you, I am not Barack Obama's illegitimate son or love child or his cousin either. Um... Also, I just want also to let people know, if you wondering about my first name, even though my first name starts with a Q, I am not related to Quincy Jones in no shape, form, or fashion. Just to let you know, nor am I famous, nor am I one of his illegitimate children. Because I from what I understand, he has many children. So we can dispel with that rumor. I wear pentagrams on my neck and also I have one on my finger as a ring. This does not mean I worship Satan, even though my mother thinks so. It's a funny little thing like that. And you got some idiots out there that think I'm Jewish. Um, no, wake up. This is not the Jewish star. As you can see, you can take a look at this. This is not the Jewish star. Dumbass. Um, also, also want to put the, also want to put the rest in another room. I am not Wiccan, even though I do believe in some of the things they do share. Mind you that. Another little, uh, wonderful thing that also get, some people think I'm an atheist, yes. Don't get me wrong, I love my atheist friends. I have one on YouTube. Um, I'm trying to think, what is her name? Um, ah, yes, Thunderfoot. Yes, Thunderfoot. She kicks ass. She's definitely, she's definitely someone that's really cool. Really, really, really kicks ass. And this will let you know I'm not atheist. So, this to risk that rumor, you know, I love my atheist friends, I love my satanic friends. Hey, you know, don't get me wrong, I believe I even have some Christian friends. Also, to put that one to rest, I am not Christian. So you can definitely put that one to rest as well. Um, I am not a Zen monk either. I do love Asian stuff, and I do have some Asian clothes. But no shape or form am I a Zen master. So, you know, you can get that little thought out of your head either. Those of y'all that have sent the lovely comments that think I'm on drugs, uh, I hate to break it to you again, I am not on drugs. Even though my girl that who I am free and who I am now with, people do ask the question is, why in the world are you with this guy? He is crazy. He looks like he's on crack, hallucinogenics, and marijuana all at the same time. You know, how can you be with him? He is nuts. He is insane. Uh, you know what? I can't really answer that one for you. Um, what can I say? I met her in a club. So and, uh, from there, we've been together. So that's, that's pretty much the way it goes. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you know, tough luck, tough cookies. Um, let me see. Another little subject we're going to also jump on. Another little rumor that, uh, that also is floating around. That I'm a cartoon character. I uh, hate to break it to you, I was not drawn. You know, no, I am, like I said last time I checked, I am real. So you can definitely forget about that one. Uh, a few years ago, uh, somebody thought I was in connection with Al Qaeda. Um, 
I, you know what, that, you know, that would be so cool if that was the case. But once again, you know, I'm sorry, but the, the appeal of strapping bombs to my body does not actually appeal to me. You know, don't get me wrong, I think about killing myself every day, but because of certain things, because of certain things people do, but that idea, I really just don't like the concept of it. You know, I just really don't. I mean, what's even more crazy is that Dave, I mean, I remember when he got so desperate, it was actually getting retarded people and putting bombs on it. I, I even heard something uh, along the along the lines that someone even they, they even put a bomb on a dead baby. Yes, people, a dead baby. I mean, you know how in the world? I mean, I tell you, you're talking about extremes. I think not. Uh, yeah, so you can you can you can you know you can you can definitely get rid of that idea. Um, any possibilities that I'm on? You know. That I'm a communist. Okay, don't get me wrong. I have some ideas that may be that may seem as what well, as well, but you can forget about that. I do not live in China, and I don't have to tell you, you know, that you know it's funny that you know all of a sudden we want to set up there, you know, we want to talk about, we want to talk about people and stuff. But, you know, we're the very country that still support China. I'm going to show you something. This is what I'm getting. I'm going to show you something. It's real fun. You know, in this country. How crazy people are. Now, you know, people are so quick about talking about China. You know, I have to tell you that China is still communist. Now, in this little, in this little ad, this is an American ad. Yeah. Let's make things washing even even cleaner. Let's go. What's the secret to the cleaner wash? It could be it could be natural gas when used to generate electricity is the cleanest burning fossil fuel. Shell is helping to deliver natural gas to more countries than any other company. It include it includes China, where the fast growing economy needs cleaner energy. It's another example of how it's trying to build a better energy future. Yes, yes, we all know. Translation, you're all in China's ass because they're number one and USA is number two. See this crap? Well, I don't got nothing against China, but you know what? Here in the, here in the U.S., we need to start worrying about ourselves, you know. Also, another misconception. Uh, those of y'all that think that, um... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Anti-American! Oh, yeah. I love that. Just because I don't wrap my damn ass up in a freaking flag. And I'm for flag burning, possibly. Because that's, that's you know, that's a, another person's prerogative. I don't care what people, you know, people, you can do whatever you want. You know, that's your own business. You know, I mean, that's, you know, but by no shape and form. Don't even put me in the category of such. I'm me, damn it. You got a problem with it too bad. You can drop dead and die. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. To put together also another misconception, I am not gay. For you for those of y'all that think that, you can definitely put that idea out your mind. People have been telling me that shit for years. You know, ever since I was in school, I don't know why, you know? Because I have such a good connection with my male friends. Could that be a problem? I don't know. I have to tell you right now. Uh, truth be told, most of my friends are female. But, you know, then again, you know, some people might arguably say is, you know, a gay guy is a, is a female's best friend. I don't want to hear it. Y'all can drop dead, too. Once again, you know, I don't want to hear that. Uh, also, another strange rumor that's going around, I am not Chris Crocker's girlfriend. Just in case you're getting any ideas, don't even think about it. I am not related to Michael Jackson, in no shape, form, or fashion, either. So, you can forget about that one, too. This is to throw out some of the daggone rumors. You know, I am not related to Jesus, either. Nope, sorry, you know, it would be nice, but no. That's definitely a no, no, and double no. 
Um, let me see. What is another lovely rumor that's going on? I am not female. So just in case for you gay guys that are running after me, you can forget about it. I'm not female. You know, nor am I in, nor do I have any interest in such. Um, I think I'm pretty, I think I pretty much covered everything, pretty much for the most part. You know, I, you know, I just had to get that out for, for my lovely public. Oh yeah, I also want to let you know is, uh, I think this guy's really cool. I know some of y'all probably hate him with a vengeance, Bill Maher, but uh, he's cool. He's cool people. Um, also, just to let you know, um, another cool guy who I think is really, really neat, the WikiLeaks guy. I, yeah. I hear they want to execute him. Because uh, I think he is something about rape. Look, I don't know. I haven't been reading the news about it. But uh, you know what? I mean, for him exposing anything, I think he's doing a great job. And I think he needs to keep doing it. You know? I know some of y'all out there that, you know, wrapped up in the flag probably like, Oh, you know, you're such a bad person. Go to hell. I don't care. That's right. Uh, so, just to let you know, some of y'all that think that, um... And I'm conservative, you can forget about that too, in the political aspect. No, I'm not conservative. And those that think I'm a hardcore liberal, you can forget about that too. I don't run around with my clothes off. So, you know, I like to keep my clothes on, thank you. So, that doesn't, you know, don't work in, you know, as far as conservatism, I'm not God loving, sorry. Nor am I gun loving like that either. But I am, I am for people that want to have guns. Don't get me wrong. People should have a right to defend themselves. This is a right that is a must. But there has to be limits on what we can do because people have to be protected from themselves. Because as usual, put people, or I, or I could just say, the human race are idiots. Uh, and that being said, um, I believe this has been a Q Doma moment. Ah, uh, yes, it has been a Q Doma moment. And last but not least, I'm going to say I am not possessed by the devil. Thank you.